I mean, give me a bit of a sense of how the levels of provisioning have developed and what that tells you can tell us about the health of the economy. Well, thank you, Yusuf, for having me this morning. Um, um, during this period of COVID-19, uh, we had to say, take some uh, uh, extra cautions. Um, however, uh, you know, th things are, 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 are look looking very good. Um, we have managed to, to close the quarter with uh, positive results compared to the last quarter. So uh, not much to worry about as far as the provision is concerned. How much of the SAMA support have you drawn on? And do you see a need for SAMA to offer more to sectors other than SMEs to help them cope? Well, SAMA has actually come up with uh, several packages. One is, uh, is the private sector funding program, which was not just limited to SMEs. It was also extended to, uh, to corporates. They've also special, uh, offered special program to SMEs. They've done actually several, several programs, including you know, individuals who have, who have been given some waivers in terms of uh, uh, respondent payments and, and mortgage, mortgage payments and finance. And that has helped stimulating the, the, the economy. We're, we're seeing things come back to normal you know, after the uh, uplift of the, uh, of the lockdown. So we're seeing the business activity coming back. You are one of the smallest lenders in the country, and given the ongoing challenges with the coronavirus, uh, you could make an argument that there is a need to merge, to consolidate with, with, another, with another bank. Uh, are you looking into that? Well, uh, these kind of decisions, you know, are usually discussed at uh, the board level and the General Assembly. And, you know, if there is a need of such thing, definitely this, this will be discussed and, and, and uh and explored. However, I don't see, you know, I don't see, you know, Saudi Saudi Arabia. Don't forget that it's still underbanked, compared to, to uh, you know, like if you compare to Dubai or other, it's still limited number of banks, and there is enough business activity for everyone. So um, uh, we're not looking for this at this at this time. So you're not considering any other scenarios. You're not actively involved in any discussions. Is that is that the correct way to understand it? Well, like I said, you know, these things are, are usually discussed at a support level. And, and you know, and if such thing, you know, then there will be, there will be, there will be some announcement. To them. But, but, you know, not, nothing in the horizon. What about dividend guidance? Has SAMA made anything clear yet? Because we've seen, uh, you know, some moves in other parts of the world of regulators, central banks, pushing commercial banks, retail banks to conserve as much liquidity as possible has there been anything on your end well i think i think it's, it's very important uh, this time for banks globally and and locally to to preserve capital uh and you know uh, increase the capital adequacy and that, that, that's that's very important uh don't forget that in, in saudi the still the capital adequacy requirements are still you know higher than the benchmark the global benchmark so I think banks are well capitalized and, and, uh, and, and they didn't have an issue, basically, as far as capital is concerned. You said that you're seeing encouraging signs from some of the data that you get through your branches and interactions with customers. I'm trying to get a feel for what is going to help unlock some additional growth for you in the coming two quarters. What is something that you can get excited about when you speak to stakeholders, to shareholders? Sure, sure. I think that there is uh, one important aspect is that we basically invested heavily in the uh, employees and uh, our employees. We invested heavily in technology. So uh, we are set basically to increase our market share. We, we have seen our market share increasing in the SME. We have seen our market share increase in the mortgage business, our acquisition of, of new accounts. Um, we have done tremendous work in terms of improving the customer journey so that has helped in really getting more business and increasing market share we're also involved in supporting all uh, the government initiatives for project finance so that that will that will we see that that will help us really in, in, in maintaining our level of growth uh, in the coming uh, you know quarters i would say